Let's see. And let's just cheese this right away. so weird. with something really quick here. I'll wait for folks to roll in. My controller thought it could escape, but it could not escape me. Just wait for folks to roll in. Oh, hello. I've been waiting for this. Hello, Blazing Dude. Just gonna wait a moment or two because some people probably want to come in. Because I, I, I have feeling that a that the next big thing is gonna happen as soon as finals start, or shoot as soon as finals are over. So, I'm gonna wait a mo. I'm gonna wait a minute to see if anybody else rolls up. I hope you like the name of the stream. It's a funny little nod to a lot of stuff that happens in the Arxis fighting community. Oh, Cell, it's patch day. Oh, Narukami, it's finals week. kind of a refresher as people are rolling in is that Yukiko is maxed, Chie is maxed, Risei is maxed, Kanji is at rank 8 out of 10, so at the very least I have regeneration 3 in him which will help a lot. 6% of 620, that still comes out to at least like 42 health a turn if not more no probably closer to 52 which will which is substantial all right i think i get i think i can get started here get a good night's rest before 
It all kicks off. I will translate though. Oh. I should hurry to school. Oh boy, school. Yo. Hold on. Isn't there like a Hold on, there's something Stop that. Maybe not. Well, let's see what this thing gives me here. Oh yeah, it's foggy. I don't like how this feels. I don't like it at all, Mr. Krabs. Finals day one. It stems from Italian food. Hi, Nera. It says for geometric shapes. I'm cheating on the finals. Good thing I waited a little bit. There is look. That is Khufu. Why are you giving this lesson about Egypt, by the way? It's called an Atlas. Not an Atlas. Is it Atlas and an Atlas? Uh, silver line to every situation, I guess. Find out who the real hard workers are and who are the slackers. But not really, considering what we're doing with you. What was... What, who, what word has the words bride ale in its roots? Bridal. How about bridge? A cuckoo... The, coo the humble cuckoo bird. Happy December, everybody. South Pole belongs to no one. It's the Fibonacci sequence. It's not Chris. It's not Christmas yet. Merry Christmas. No Christmas. Happy Hanukkah! I can't do a stitch voice. Oh. <laughs> is the final level, is the final dungeon Inaba? It's Inaba itself? Because that'd actually be kind of awesome. 
It is found in Namib. Mochi is a rice cake. There's good mochi and there's bad mochi. Man, this fog just won't quit. The weather report said it might start snowing soon. But what's going to happen if it snows with all this fog? Uh, ever, like, it'll become, you'll have a visibility of, like, Two feet. Whoa, where'd you guys come from? Wow, that's quite a crowd you got there. We ran into each other back there, so we came together. The fog's so thick that sometimes you can't see your nose in front of your face, so everyone's forming groups now. It's definitely been weird lately. It's so cold, too. Visibility's so bad, it's scary. Can I stick close to you, Senpai? Uh... What do you say? Oh, this girl never changes. It really is hard to see anything in this, though. It's just like on the other side. Click. Guys, put on your glasses! Uh... Yeah, okay. My hunch is maybe actually correct. Whoa, it's all clear. What the hell's going on? These glasses are meant to help us see through the fog. By sound. <sighs> I I don't know what happened. I don't know. But, but putting that aside, something's getting no a little funky with my computer. Visibility in a fog under normal circumstances. Then, um, could the fog from over there be leaking into our world? Huh? Well, you, you guys think that's it? I was kind of expecting you to ignore it as Chie being random again. <laughs> it's, it's just a thought. <laughs> Who do I call my TV's leaking? Do I call the plumber, an electrician, a TV specialist, or God? Anyways, today's the last day of exams, right? Let's get them over with so we can meet up at the special headquarters after school. Wow, we haven't used that name in a while. It's been... Actually, it has been like a month since we had to use it. I'm writing answers. Look at me writing answers. I didn't read that message, but it said, would you like to save? So I'm saving. Needs more holy water. Hey, here's a story about the fog. Um. Oh my God, it's doing it again. One second. I have no idea what is causing my everything to be so stupid anymore. I've paused everything on my side. I'm looking through seeing if there's anything else I can close that's deciding it needs to have top priority right now. Yeah, the sound distortion, because I'm hearing it. I'm here. It, it like happens about every half hour, so I'm wondering if I have to do something. It's getting a little annoying even for me who can usually ignore things. Now this happens when I when I record my stuff, by the way. This only happens when I stream. And I can close this. Close that. And this. Basically, I can close every one of my tabs on Chrome as well. All right, launch it again. And for some reason, okay, that's back. Okay, that's better again. 
For some reason, Chrome likes just eat up all my resources, unless I close on everything that isn't te like text-based. Some specialists are raising concerns that this fog may consist of harmful substances. More and more citizens are calling for an investigation into the cause of the fog and the facts about it. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pinpoint. Oh, is this fog really dangerous? You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Or here, either. Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. But beyond that, I'm clueless. Teddy, that's just a normal state of being for you. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. The suspect was having an affair with the first victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Also in April, Miss Saki Kanishi's body was discovered. The police are looking into a motive for the murder. In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings, but later suspicion was thrown upon Namatame. Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. It seems Namatame is still confined to his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened. But all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? I mean, can they... Uh, I went to hit, can they pr prove anything, but my... or not, it was him who did everything. Getting him convicted is up to your uncle. I had a delay issue. Control delay, anyway. But the stuff he was saying was so obviously nuts. If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. Yes. There are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? It's a possibility. Hell's up with that! We all know he did it. You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the streets. He, he may not have known. He may have had maybe somebody he, he some ulterior being may may have been forcing him to do it. They better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. Oh, they have. Saki Senpai. No, not just her, or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. It's his fault Nanako Chan's in the hospital right now too. What's the matter? A Katatsu? Oh, then why don't we go check them out right now? I know Nanako-chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new Kotatsu. I got Yen. Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up and we just got a bunch of them in stock. All right, off to the houseware section for Nanako-chan! Right. We better get some oranges to complete the set. Millions kill, million or hundreds killed, millions under suspect. My brain don't work. We can't arrest him. He's not mentally sane. It's a cliche because it's true. Damn it. The best compliment to a Kotatsu would be a heated rug. Dude, that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. Oh yeah, you've never used a kotatsu before, huh, Ted? It's nice and toasty. Teddy? Can I still stay here? Uh-oh. You kept your promise to me, so I should be going back. <sighs> You're a goddamn lech. A goddamn lecher. 
Unfortunately, you're also a good friend. But I don't want to go until Nana-chan gets better. Of course you can stay. How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. But I couldn't save Nana-chan. As depressing as it sounds, nobody else could. Don't be silly. We saved her together. Listen, it took us one game day. In fact, it probably took us one cut game couple of hours. We caught the killer, man. We couldn't have done that without you. Exact. That's the messenger's there. You're an annoying shit, but you are annoying shit. Teddy, you shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. Guys. Listen, people can be taught. Unfortunately, some people have to be taught with a sledgehammer and a concrete wall. You can stay. Sensei, I'm so touched. I'll stay by your side until Nana-chan comes home, Sensei. Oh, that's right. There's no one but you at your place. Why don't we pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it? We'll just we'll just get her we'll just get her like a series of shirts that should last throughout most of her life that just say Juness. That is her life as Juness. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. All right, but none of this charge it to Yosuke stuff this time. Seriously, we're clear on this, right? Come on, why would we do something like that? Because you're a bitch. Dude, the clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. Did you, were you, were you even able to pay all that off? Are you still paying that off? How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Uh, you had to work your normal shift plus an additional three days per week for ever since you bought the clothes for him, so... Math says a lot. Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Ugh. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. Why am I a genius? What? what did I do now? What did you just say? Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. I'm getting the sledgehammer. Chie, put him up against the concrete wall and make sure he doesn't moan in the process. Stay out of this! God damn it, Yukiko. <laughs> Let's leave them be and think of a present for Nanako-chan on our own. But what would a girl her age want? Well, I can feel like at this point, cheesy as it is, she just wants she just wants us. What do you think Nanako chan would appreciate most? Uh Yeehaw! Let's just erase that word reset and uh yeah. No, I'm gonna go for Jack Frost doll. Yeah, that that white round shape's the best. A plush doll's the way to go. All right, as soon as Nanako Chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yes, and we'll bake the cake. I'll bake the cake. Of course. I'll bake the cake. Kanji, any help? Yosuke, you're going to need to help me, too. Oh, no, you're not. Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? Dachi? Hello, this is Adachi. Um, I want you to stay calm and listen to me, okay? Don't. Nanako-chan's condition suddenly got worse. The doctor wants you to come to the hospital immediately. We'll be waiting. Later. I'm out. Come on, let's go. Doctor, this fog is poisoning. 
coincidence, isn't it? Isn't it filled with viruses? They said so on TV. Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down. You're lying. We know you have medicine for this. Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Dojima-san, you need to return to your... I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. <clears throat> Dojima-san! Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. Nanako. Hey, can't you do something? Alright, I have one question. Where's Namatame's room? Cause I'm about to drop kick him I'm about to drop kick him through the entire building. This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? Don't pressure Teddy. He barely knows what goes on. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, but Damn it. Why does this have to happen to a little girl like her? We're all in this feeling the same way, Kanji. Why'd it turn out like this? Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? You guys still here? We're not leaving. How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find him guilty in court. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh yeah, something about him having an alibi. What is that alibi? Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs. There's no way that'll stand up in court. No one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. We have the diary on that, kind of. And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? Kanji. I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? Kanji. If you want to see that stuff so bad, we'll show you. Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it. Kanji. Hey, stop. What the? Is Nanako Chan's family here? Present. Hurry inside. Please talk to her. What the hell? What's going on? No. Nanako-chan. Daddy. Okay, before I start picking options, I gotta ask. If I screw this up, do I have to repeat the majority of the conversations we've gone through? Because if this is a situation where I can mess it up and have to repeat a substan- like, later? Okay. Just try and give me like a good head up, heads up so I can make sure not to flop it horribly. Nanako-chan. Nanako-chan. Can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. Where 
Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. How's Nanako? Doctor. I don't like that it's playing a piano rendition of the of the boss battle song. Big bro. Right here. Don't. Nanako! <clears throat> Nanako! I'm sorry, sir. No. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Nana Chan. did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. <laughs> Dojima-san, what's with that look? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? Huh? Wait, is, is Nanako-chan... But then, where did Dojima-san go? His room isn't that way. Go catch him. Wait a sec. That's the way to... condition to be moved where is his room i can't tell you that okay but here's the ultimatum dojima is going to choke his ass out where is his room just tell us where he is already dojima son's on his way ain't he you don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him kanji -kun, you don't mean yeah, hold on just what are you guys talking about Dojima's only fucking purpose for doing what he does is Nanako. Without that, he's lost all moral alignment. Cough it up! Where's this room? <clears throat> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. But there's a police guard. Then you're gonna be our way in. watching over Nana-chan, and I still couldn't save her. It happened in my world. Even though I was the only Teddy in that place, I... I still couldn't do anything. 
Like we said, without permission. Permission? Who gave him permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She... She's all I have! She's... I... The only one in the world... Call a doctor! Let go of me. I need to... Holy crap! Dojima-san! Quick, get him to his room. I'll go alert the doctors. I can... Uh, I can imagine... I can imagine in the anime adaptation... Dojima-san, was he seriously... In the anime adaptation, like, they probably literally had both those guards... Holding onto his shoulder, you know, like arm bar holding onto his shoulder, trying to pull him back while he's just screaming bloody murder, trying to get in Namatami's room. <sighs> Adrenaline he's makes you do shit, man. Death. Nothing would have surprised me. Jojima san probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatami would be convicted. Damn it. He killed Senpai. And now Nanako-chan. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did. That's not right. <sighs> Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? Rise, if I had a dime for every time that question gets asked in this world, I'd be fucking rich. Trying to fling himself inside the TV, isn't he? I... I was scared, so... I... I... You have your life, and now you want your freedom, too? It's your fault that Nanako John... I... I didn't... I... Is it the Midnight Channel? Hey, isn't this... I failed to save her. It's because you got in my way. Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. So this is what happens. Someone has a shadow and they don't face it. The shadow seeks out their other other person on a wide scale assault. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the? I failed, but it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? Is that what Namatami's really thinking? Then he wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law. I will never forget what you did. This... Please, stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. But do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you. Kanji. <sighs> Do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. But you, you're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? <laughs> I'll 
continue saving people. It's my mission. <laughs> Fuck. We got to put his ass back in the TV. My God. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm going to walk out of here doing nothing. I... I understand, but... This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Okay. Now, Tell, I know what you're thinking. We don't know where we're going to go if we jump in there. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Wait a second. You don't mean... Are you serious? You're just going to turn your back and walk away? That's... to you guys this is crazy how can we do something like that cheer everyone listen to me if we're gonna do this now is our only shot we won't get a second chance at this rate the guy's gonna get off the hook and he'll go around saving people again you just heard what this bastard's really thinking if that happens It'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But... but... Yosuke... All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. J just p push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. <sighs> Fuck. 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 Yosuke, you can't do that. We have to go in with him if if even if we do that. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? We don't have time to wait. If we don't do this now, the cops will come back. What are you trying to say? We're missing something. Something we don't know. What don't we know? Yosuke's not going to listen to that. And it's not, his revenge isn't right. I almost think it's the bluntest option of whether he can, he'll kill again. This is one I have no idea on. Yes, I am doing it. I feel like I've gotten through a majority of the, uh... I 
feel like I've gone through a majority of the triggers that basically say, do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that. Something's been... Well, what is it? I already told you there's no time to waste. Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it, I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer. Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. You shut the hell up. He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. No, you are not. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. After what happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. Fine. <sighs> You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But... Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. That is also true. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere, anything. Let's just stew on it for now. Jeez, how the hell can you stay so calm, man? Then again, that's why you're our leader. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. All right, I'm convinced. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. <laughs> Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? I can tell there's like... Representated by this, because my fingers can't do justice. There's about this much from stopping y Yosuke from flipping that man out the window or flipping him into the TV. And that is, and that representation is literally the best friend complex in Protagonist. Right. To 
together. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks. Well, that's maxed out. Look, fingers. Do it the right way, though. Woo, fingers. Loki, the trickster god, is the final is the final shadow of the Fool Arcana, huh? Judgment? Hold on. Is Namatame Judgment? Oh. Never mind. suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation and their trust in you, Adachi-san. Okay, Naoto, that's just cold. <laughs> oh, I see. We'll tighten security from now on and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, really appreciate it how is he doctor he seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago he seems fine for now but he really needs his rest outside everyone doctor's orders understood we should go too let's get back to nanako-chan's room So what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me, too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her. It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Kinda? Uh, I don't really get any of this. I'm kind of with you, Kanji, but you gotta listen, because you, because if I share a, bra a wa brain wave like anything with you at all, you're gonna have a, a fucking mental snap and s just blurt out something randomly. It's gonna open, uh, provide an open way to keep going. Oh, this is so confusing! Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Oh, there you are, all of you. 
Please come with me immediately. Huh? What's going on? What are you waiting for? Hurry, go. Just call me King of Track and Field. Let's go. Teddy? Where am I? Is this Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I remember being at the hospital. That's right, Nana-chan. I... I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. Th that's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Guys, Sensei, what should I do? Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. I'm sorry. What did you just say? Nanako-chan's alive? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Crackpot theory. Considering Teddy is a healer, did he make an ultimate sacrifice he didn't even know how to do? Still, Nanako chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako chan. <laughs> oh my god. I I <laughs> This is amazing. Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I I didn't know what I was going to do. <laughs> Come on. Stop crying, you two. You all should go home for the night. I don't want to. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. Tell me right now. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. I'm not leaving. Wait a second, where's Teddy? Uh, yeah, that's... I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <laughs> You're right. That's weird. I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. I'll try calling him up once we're outside. <sighs> well, I had a feeling I needed to use. Save. I couldn't save. Let's finish thought. I've. Yeah. Because I felt like I've hit with certain hit some of the triggers, but I got to that one point. It's like. All these are fucking crackpot. None of them make sense as to what's the clear one in my head. So I had to go. So I went and got something to help with that. Why? Mayumi. And that girl, too. I couldn't save them. Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. This is the... Okay, trying to make light of this in some regard. This is the weirdest case of split personality disorder I've ever seen. I 
I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. Huh. Oh, it's snow. So it does snow in Inaba. Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. Bitch, it just snowed today. <laughs> it doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. Hello, Mama Jelly. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. All right. Now this is going to sound wacky, Chie, but hear me out. All right. Hear me out on this. Leggings. Bare minimum. That goes for you too, Rise. Hey, Yosuke. If you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. All right. Here comes crackpot theory number two. We're like three feet from Teddy. We are like three feet from Teddy as we speak right now. But it has to snow heavy enough for us to like see him even with our glasses on. That's the crackpot theory I'm throwing out there. Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. Well, see you tomorrow. We already saved Teddy once. It was. Alright. So here's the part of the game where I fuck up. Where I'm not going to see everybody's messages here because I didn't max out social links. Fuck, it's lonely. <laughs> the first thought, just fuck, it's lonely. Dumb question. Okay, hey, I have to look, I have to do this. <sighs> Let's go to bed. Everyone get the fuck out of my head. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for this bullshit. Welcome. It's been quite some time. You fucked up one of my fusions. I don't want to talk to you. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. Now then, your journey has taken you quite a distance thus far. Do you believe you'll be able to successfully solve this mystery? I can solve it. Splendid. The precise destination of this vehicle. Ah, that too is getting rather hard to judge. Who's the driver? If we continue driving blindly, we may end up leading you further away from the mystery that you must reach. Well, why don't we take a moment to look back on your journey? It was for that purpose that I summoned you here tonight. Margaret? 
去。Totally different. I mean, really finding yourself. What's right? What you should choose to do in life? The answers to those things lie within you. I think I need to start being more selfish. We are experiencing the words engraved into your memory during your journey. Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. All right. Let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. And it seems you have comrades with you as well. Those heading in the same direction. Through this dense fog. We'll be parked for the moment while I confirm our current heading. As I mentioned previously, this year will signal a great change in your life. Though there isn't much time left, it can be worth your while to take the time to stop and reflect. People are like water flowing in a river. There is only one stream, but all who pass through it are affected differently. Some travel fast, some change their course, experiencing countless events as they travel down the river of time. Okay, well, as you say that, and someone mentioned in the chat about Teddy, um... Yo, the f the outer scenery is looking a little familiar to a, to a not our experience experience that, I just, that we just witnessed. Just so. The state of this room reflects the scenery of your heart. Perhaps this may be a time for contemplation rather than action. I'm asleep. Oh, hi, Yosuke. What's up? Teddy's missing. Oh. I looked all over the neighborhood, but I couldn't find him anywhere. All right. He doesn't just take off without us. Yeah, me too. He was acting all weird lately. Risa and the others are checking inside the TV to see if he's gone back to the other side. We're meeting pretty soon, so will you come with me to Juness? Of course. As Nero put it also oh eloquently earlier, he may be an idiot, but he's our idiot. It's no use, man. We can't find him. No luck for me either. I didn't sense anything over there. The fog's so dense, it might be affecting my readings. Oh. Can we not put that in the docket, by the way? That... Rise can't Rise our true compass since Teddy has lost his is currently Fubar. Can we not put that on the docket? I wish I could do better. I'm sorry. But Ted, don't tell me he really went back to his world this time. We told him over and over that he could stay here. I guess that's all we can do right now. He plays dumb a lot, but he's attached to us deep down. He wouldn't disappear without saying anything, right? I'm worried for Teddy myself, but let's trust in him and await his return. Right now, we must concentrate on the case. Why can't we do both? It won't be long before Namatame is transferred to another location. We must hurry, or we will miss our only chance to get his perspective on this. You know, I've been thinking about the case since, but 
Something just doesn't seem right. Let's quickly review the facts. Of all the victims, only two were killed. Miss Yamano, the announcer, and Saki-san. From the documents we found in the car, we know Namatame had some sort of dealings with them. After that, there were multiple attempted murders in which we were targeted. It was only when he took Nanako-chan that we caught him in the act, identifying his modus operandi in the process. I want to hear you put it like that. Sounds like the dude's guilty. As a result of Namatame's arrest, the police admitted that Mitsuo Kubo was a mere copycat killer. Back up to yesterday. Remember when you said Namatame didn't have a motive to kill the announcer? That's what's bothering me. Right. Either he's completely nuts, or we're misunderstanding something. You lost me. She's trying to say that if Namatame is sane, then there may be facts in the case we don't know about yet. Sane or insane? Sounds like a play I saw before. When he talks about saving people, what does that actually mean? I don't think there's any doubt that it includes kidnapping people and throwing them into the TV. Could he mean saving them through death? It could mean that. That could be like an extension of that being something in this world, how that person is acting at the time could lead to their ultimate could lead their demise early so throwing them inside the tv could curve that but would cost them dying in an unforeseen circumstance he did call himself a savior and said that the other side is a wonderful world so they'll be saved if they die what a bunch of crap the bastard should have gone and saved himself what do you think senpai There's something else not quite right. Think about it normally, it's gotta be him. <laughs> but there ain't nothing normal about that world anyways. There's something I've been wondering about for a while. When we first encountered him, he said, You're the ones I saved. Don't worry, I'll save this girl too. So, um, if he saves people by killing them, did he save us too? Okay, so here's this part of it. Here's this part of it. How am I the only one who went there on my own volition? Not needing saving, and yet here I sit. Wouldn't he actually have failed to save us? You raise a good point. If he thinks that salvation comes only through death, his words to us make no sense. And another thing, the Namatame who appeared on the Midnight Channel said he failed to save Nanako-chan. Well, maybe he really was trying to save the victims by putting them inside the TV. C come on, don't get all quiet like that. You guys know I just say the first dumb thing that pops into my head. <laughs> the possibility that he truly intended to save us. It's not that far-fetched. There is something there that, no, that does make sense. With the fact of how abnormal this is, nothing makes sense in the fact that he could have been told to throw somebody inside the TV and if they didn't accept what they are, what they are ultimately consumes them. But he's still the one who threw in Saki-senpai and that announcer, right? Sure, we haven't nailed down his motives, but that doesn't change the fact that he killed them. Or what? You think someone else was involved? What makes you think so? Oh, we are cheating again. I don't give a fuck. Nothing helpful here. <laughs> God damn it.
Thank you. Warning letter. Oh yeah. Whatever happened to that thing? If Namatami's the killer, he must have been the one who wrote it, right? Let's review them. Okay. Why did I give them to you? Yes, that's right. Isn't that kind of odd? Would someone who thinks he's saving people by killing them write stuff like don't rescue or kill? Yeah, and the will be put in and killed part doesn't make sense either. If the killer was writing it, wouldn't it be more like I'll put in and kill? Hey, could this mean? Yeah, it's almost like someone else wrote this letter. But only the killer would write such a letter and deliver it to Dojima-san's house, right? If someone else wrote it, that could only mean... Dear God, since this is such an unusual case, I was absolutely convinced that other than the Kubo incident, there was one culprit. So, Namatame really was trying to save his victims? Everything is exactly the opposite of what it first seemed. In Namatame's parlance, failing would have been the first two cases when the victims died. If he had used his method twice and failed both times, he would hardly have continued using the TV. And yet he did. It all seems to suggest that someone else wrote this warning letter while observing the entire case. Someone else? Then it wasn't Namatame that killed Saki-senpai in the announcer? We can't say for certain yet. We urgently need to speak with Namatame face to face. Well, let's go to the hospital. How though? After what happened yesterday, they said they're gonna tighten security. I have a plan. And I have a plant. What does that get us? There's no time to waste. Let's hurry to the hospital. Hey, this place is off limits. I'm a consultant with the police. I'd like a few words with Namatame-san. May I go in? This is Unit 252 requesting confirmation on an ID. Name of Naoto Shirogane. Huh? Ah. Understood. I see. Well, you're on the list. I can give you a few minutes, but I'll have to record your conversation with him for security purposes. Not that I expect to get anything coherent out of the guy. He's been spouting nothing but gibberish. I'd like him to accompany me as well. He has no identification, but this is an emergency situation. And he's here in Detective Dojima's stead. Huh? Detective Dojima sent him? I wasn't informed of this. I'll vouch for his identity. Well, I guess it's better than dealing with the man himself. We have our hands full with the transport procedures, so the last thing we need is Detective Dojima running wild. Detective Adachi is busy somewhere, too. And where might that be? This is Unit 252. Huh? I see. Has something happened? There's something about a suspicious object out in the lobby. Ah, well then, this works out nicely. You should back up your colleagues downstairs. We'll keep watch over Namatame-san. A disturbance in a hospital lobby, after all. It sounds serious. <sighs> what did we make Kanji do? If anything happens, hit the nurse call button. I'll leave the rest to you. Understood. I knew they were undermanned, but I didn't expect it to go this smoothly. Oh. Wow. Well, There's yeah. nothing much inside that suspicious object, so he won't be gone long. All right. And now's our chance to talk to Namatame. Oh, wow. God damn it. That voice clip. Namatame. Let's talk. 
for, for Namatame san, there's something we'd like to ask you. <laughs> Settle down. It's tempting to think that you were the culprit behind this entire case. And to be honest, there are many in this town who hope you are. But we are here to learn the truth. So please, answer our questions. Huh? Hi. Once again, making sure. Well, it looks like what I've got here is going backwards, so. No. If nobody saves them, they'll be killed. That's why I put them in there. Did you kill those two girls? They were killed. I couldn't save them. Who'd you throw in first? Huh? Me? Uh, wait. Hold on. Then tell me if my estimation is correct so far. After discovering the Yamano and Konishi incidents, you realized an appearance on the Midnight Channel meant certain death. Thus, to save her from that fate, you kidnapped Yukiko Amagi. You couldn't let her be killed, so you threw her into the TV, preventing the killer in this world from reaching her. And you repeated the process as more individuals appeared on the Midnight Channel. It all falls into place. His body is weak, but his mind is sound. He's trying to tell us the truth. Yeah, but if the stuff he's saying is true... There's another killer who murdered the first two victims? Indulge us in a few more questions. Did you ever enter the TV? I didn't know. I never thought it would be that kind of place. So why the warning letters? What are you talking about? There we go. That confirms it. I have no idea. I want to know that too. As I thought. You believe me? Did they find him? Did they find the one who did such cruel things? Oh, he snapped awake really fast. Mayumi. Please calm down. Our ability to find the culprit rests on you. We know about the other world. In fact, we're the only ones who can fully understand what you have to say. Only... You? We did blame you for everything at first. But now I think we can accept whatever you got to tell us as truth. Please, tell us everything you can, calmly and slowly. You're willing to listen? Do my story? Yes. It's the best, it's the best thing we've got so far, dude. Does the name Izanagi ring a bell? Fuck shit, I... He passes out, it's done. <laughs> Soon after my affair with Mayumi became common knowledge, I returned to my parents' home, as if to run away from the scandal. And I started drinking heavily to drown my anxieties. I'll say heavily, that's two giant-ass bottles of sake. 
That's at least four liters of sake, and he's currently slugging a beer. I hadn't been able to reach Mayumi at all, and that didn't help either. I should I should clarify, four liters per bottle. Mayumi, where are you? She'd been disgraced on all the afternoon shows and forced to resign from the program she was on. I cost her so much trouble. I wanted to at least apologize to her, but I couldn't even do that. I lost the will and energy to do anything. Then, one day, the rumor I heard some time ago came back to me. Since I had nothing better to do, I sat down blankly in front of the TV and watched my own reflection. And all of a sudden, there was Mayumi. Mayumi? Is that you? The Mayumi inside the TV looked as if she was calling to me for help. Mayumi? Mayumi! When I reached out unthinkingly to touch her, my arm disappeared into the TV, as if I had dipped it into a pool of water. So he was the first one in this series that actually has been able to go inside the TV. I was so shocked that I lost my balance and nearly fell face first into the TV. I was so scared. I couldn't understand what just happened. I thought maybe I'd gone insane. In the end, I decided to think of it as just a dream and I went back to the city the next day after finishing work. The next afternoon when I got to work, I was fired on the spot, as I expected. That wasn't what broke me, though. It was Mayumi being found dead. And not just that, but it had happened in my hometown. I was dumbstruck. But later on, I remember the image of Mayumi I'd seen that night. Was it not a dream? Could it really have been an SOS from Mayumi? I hadn't touched another TV because the first time was so terrifying, but I decided to try it again. And I confirmed that none of it was a dream. So that image, was it something Mayumi showed me, calling for help? That's how I felt. And eventually, you learned of the Midnight Channel. I remember that when Mayumi was alive, she was chasing a rumor about some bizarre TV program. I'm sorry. I'd heard about it before, but I thought it was just an urban legend. So now here's my question. What sparks discussion about the Midnight Channel in the first place? What gives that initial rumor pop? Is it somebody accidentally finding it? Or is it malicious intent from somewhere from the other side trying to reach out to this world and pull more victims in? But then Mayumi appeared on it and later turned up dead. The more I thought about it, the harder it became to believe that the two events were unrelated. Soon after that, I came back to Inaba to answer the police's questions. I'd lost my job, and I wanted to know the truth of Mayumi's death for myself. Then, on another rainy night, someone else appeared on the Midnight Channel. It was a girl. She looked like she was calling for help, just like Mayumi. The first thing that came into my mind was, maybe this girl will be the next to die. And that was Saki-senpai. I'd been following all the news about Mayumi, so I noticed right away that she was the girl who found Mayumi's body. And if my hunch was right, she'd be the next victim. I didn't want her to die the way Mayumi did, so I desperately kept watching. I was consumed with the idea of rescuing her. Then, little by little, her image on the screen came into sharper focus. It became sharper? <sighs> How did you find out it was her? After I came back, my father couldn't bear to see me in such low spirits and gave me a job with the family business. I met that girl when I delivered a package to the liquor store. 
What are you squeezing about, by the way, Nera? Is my am I crack potting a little too hard right now? After agonizing over it, I decided to meet her and told her to be careful. But that same night, on the TV. She looked as if she was being engulfed by some black shape. She was writhing in pain. That's why I warned her. Why won't she pick up the phone? Come on, please. The next day, they found her dead. I knew she was going to be murdered. But I couldn't save her. I blame myself, thinking there must have been something I could have done. So, had Namatame the courage to go through with this from the beginning, he could have confronted his shadow early on enough to stop any of this from happening in the first place. Namatame wants nothing to do with all this. It's the fact that he might be fighting his own shadow. There was no one who depended on me. Nobody at work. Not even my wife. No. Oh God. Namatame couldn't confront himself. Mayumi was the only one who accepted me for who I was. But she was murdered. And the same person killed another girl. I was... I was beside myself. I couldn't forgive myself for doing nothing. You really did love Miss Yamano. Yes. From the bottom of my heart. Before I was married, my wife made it big in show business. I was happy for her, but it put a strain on our relationship. I think I can kind of relate. Thanks for stepping in, Risei. It was around that time when I met Mayumi. She was interviewing our candidate for the next election. She was a big name announcer. But she only worked with local stations, and her attitude towards work was similar to mine. We both came from Inaba, so she was easy to talk to. I knew it was wrong, but I couldn't help getting intimate with her. She gave meaning to my life. Soon after Saki-san was found dead, yet another girl appeared on TV. That was you. She'll be kidnapped next, and murdered. I can't let her end up like Mayumi and that other girl. This time, I'm gonna do something. My opponent was a murderer who left no clues to his identity. I thought hard about what I could do to protect her from someone like that. I'll never convince her. If she gets suspicious and they arrest me, we'll save her then. The girl inside the TV looked as if she was smiling at me. And that's when it hit me. I apparently had the power to go through the TV screen to the other side. Then, what if I put her into the TV and give her shelter there before the killer gets her? What are you trying to tell me? That it's safe over there? Is that it? The girl inside the TV seemed to smile at me again. And I thought, no matter what kind of place it might be, it's better than being slaughtered. Once things calm down, I could just let her out again. If she's inside the TV, there's no way they can find her. It felt as if everything was starting to come together in my mind. Could it be that Mayumi gave me that power to prevent any more victims from meeting her fate? Was it my mission to save people? But there was a big problem. 
If I explained the situation to the victim, they wouldn't understand. I had already tried that and failed miserably. It seemed the only thing I could do was to take them away. If that was my mission, I'd just have to do it. Or so I thought. Mayumi, please lend me your strength. People who appeared on the Midnight Channel would be killed. You kidnapped us in order to save us. All right. This is a bad time, but I gotta pee. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. I thought I was the only one who could help them. I did call the police, but they didn't believe me. I knew the area well, thanks to my job. I had a large truck, and I could move around without suspicion. I thought my job as a delivery man would be the perfect cover for my mission. I thought no one else could do it. But are you telling me that I wasn't saving them? No. Person is still within the TV world when the fog appears here, they will die. Beginning with Yukiko san, the people you thought you had been saving were, in fact, in mortal peril. It was my friends here who really saved us all. I have a feeling that was it. When I went after that little girl and entered the TV myself, for the first time, I had some doubts about myself. You refer to Nanako-chan, correct? The police were after me, so I had to get away. But I still felt I needed to do everything I could to save that poor little girl. That's why I went in after her. But the TV world was completely different than I imagined. Such an abominable, grotesque place. It depends upon the person that goes inside, Namatame. The, the beings there are, are grotesque. The world itself can be oddly beautiful at times. I knew that the three of you who I saved went back to your normal lives, so I didn't realize how terrible that world was. I never knew. You couldn't even get out of that place on your own. No. That's a cowardly way to put it. I'd probably already begun to realize that it was a dangerous place. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have gone to see you all. See us? Wait, are you talking about the concert we did at Juness? Yes. I wanted to know why the ones I saved were all hanging out with each other, and how much you remembered. But 
In the end, I couldn't bring myself to say anything and ran home. I must have felt too guilty. <laughs> but all the doubts and anxieties I'd been unconsciously suppressing exploded out when I entered the television myself. And that's called your shadow. I thought I was going insane. I probably did. And you know the rest. When I came to, I was lying in a hospital bed. You went in there, your shadow took over, so you couldn't even fight yourself when you thought you were doing the right thing. This guy is just unfortunate. He wasn't intentionally trying to take people away and kill them. He was trying to do the right thing. Fortunately, his idea of the right thing was not the best idea. You really were trying to save people. But I ended up doing just the opposite. Oh, what a fool. I always wanted to enter the world of politics and become useful to society. But after losing my job and the woman I loved, all I had left was this power. I convinced myself that world was some sort of sanctuary, and I secretly believed myself to be a hero. Fortunately, you gotta kinda side with the guy. Nobody would, would have thought this would be how it all works either. I never doubted what I saw on TV, and believed everything was as I wanted it to be. I didn't think for myself at all. That's why I couldn't protect them. I'm to blame for all of this. Listen, what's what's done is done. Hindsight is 2020. I suppose so. But the things I've done are too serious to be brushed aside like that. Dude. You were trying to do the right thing. The right thing didn't happen in the end because nobody knew what was the right thing. I have no intentions of running away from my crimes. I'm prepared to face the consequences. Oh my god. <laughs> that, holy hell. We still need this guy, but holy hell, that right there, that is excellent. I fucked up, and I fucked up so bad that no matter what I can say can get me out of it, and I know I fucked up, so I'm just gonna take my lumps. This guy. Kidnapping is already a serious crime, and on top of that, I put all those lives in danger. He's aware that, that no matter what he says or does any further, will get him any it would get him any less get him any less of a conviction time. So he's just gonna. He would have pleaded guilty. If holy shit, if if this if this went to a court case, he would have pleaded guilty. I'm sorry. The Midnight Channel and the Other World, you can hardly be blamed for failing to understand them properly. We must apologize to you as well. Okay. I realize it's just today and I tend to grab on the new stuff really hard. But even so, like everybody's had life changing alterations and have self discoveries. This guy is probably he is so well written. Like I realize it's just the simple thing of I will pay for what I may or may not have intended to do. But this guy's fucking well written well well written as hell. Almost better than anybody else. emotions blind us to the truth we would have piled all the responsibility on you I guess from your point of view people did stop dying once you started saving people the more you did it the more you really believed you were preventing their deaths I'm such a joke look Takes all, takes all to knowing that there's some people 
who know you didn't need to kill them. It's our secret that we know you're not fully guilty. But fortunately, I'm sorry. Everyone here thinks you are guilty. I'm getting a little tired. What, what are you all crammed in here for? My apologies. We'll be leaving now. Wait. I beg you, please find whoever's behind this. You children are the only ones who know about that world. That's our plan. It's all clear now. He never committed any murders. It was another party who threw the first two victims into the TV. Help. Help. The social link is advancing too fast. I can't stop it. ready to be transported. We can't have anything else happen. Sheesh. I better not see you rascals here again. It's okay. I'll just go get a mask. I'll say I'm a phantom thief. Monaco-chan looks like she's in pain. Wait. She's fighting for dear life. This was the last place we saw Teddy, right? He was so worried about her. How can he flake out like this when we have to find the real killer? The police consider the matter closed. We'll have to do all the investigation from here on out. I was actually just about to say, wait, Nanako, aren't you part of the police? And I was like, wait, wait. Once, since Nanako has, or Nanako, wow. Well, since Naoto has been outed as not a prince, we'll say, the police have just kind of left Naoto behind. Let's revisit Saki-san and Miss Yamano's incidents and see if we can turn up fresh details. But it's been over six months. Wouldn't the trail be cold by now? I know, but we can't give up. We're the only ones who understand what's really going on. Unlike every other teenager, they actually do know what's going on. Oh! And you never know. People might remember some things now because they've had so much time to think about it. Trust me, I'm not taking pot shots at, at any actual specific teenagers. Remember, all of us were teenagers at one point. We all thought this. Let's split up and talk to people all over town tomorrow. We'll meet up in the evening to discuss our findings. I hope we can find out something about Teddy, too. Did you just call me a bum? Sorry, what's the G? Man, there must be hell of leftovers. <laughs> I put you under arrest. Huh. Good thing it happens to be a holiday. Fortunately, you might not be wrong. Oops! I stumbled into the weapon shop. Can I talk to you about stuff? So, did, okay, there's nothing randomly here. Hey, hey, don't look at me like I'm weird. I had to check. 
Attack on June S. Da, 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 Now just match match up the two. Wait, I can do this? Okay, well, let's buy another one of these just to be safe. He's got nothing. Check the shrine. Nothing else. <sighs> so, what's uh, what's going on in the back of my head? Oh shoot. Wasn't couldn't I ask that about somebody suspicious to this lady down here? So I have now have a chain of questions. Hello? Yeah, you will. Where the fuck is this person? I called this out in the first couple months of me playing this game. Where the fuck is this person? Where's the gas station attendant? There's a ladybug. Asian beetle, whatever it is. Persona Q, go. It's super effective. Find another lamp, but hey. Damn it, I can't advance anything with him. No one's down here by the riverside. You go, old man. Go at five 
minute, five miles, on, on, five miles a week. Do you know anything about the murders? Uh, do you recall anybody suspicious? Cat, what do you know? Larger cat, what do you know? Have a kid, have this kitty. Oldman, what do you know? Well, you know what we're talking about. Is anybody strange walking around? I, everyone would. Okay, so by the way, your you guys' context context clues you've been like you've been kind of dropping, and what I piece together, I've got basically two ulterior mo ulterior people is that gas station tenant because I called them out like right about the time I cutting cutting the bit right about the time I saved Yukiko. Right about that time, I called out, "Hey, why is this gas station tenant always out here watching us?" And I got a little leery of them for about a week straight. And then I just dropped it because some, because I, my mind got put in something else. Two, that guy may be a crackpot in the street, but this weird shit didn't come along until before we got here. Yosuke's family with Juness came here. Something within Juness is starting all this. Well, do you remember seeing anybody odd? There's, there's like three people. Oh, hello. You were you here? You're an asshole. How about that one? Do you understand that? Can I go down here? Wasn't this like where Saki was? Okay, so I do have to... I've gone through every dialogue tree option, it seems. I'll see if I messed it up. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. What should we do? Well, one staple, please! That's not what I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. Now that 
that our tummies are full. Let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. I'm gonna pull up a window. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end? The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. There wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't, but otherwise the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy, too, but no one's seen him. Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Yeah, we're doing both. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new, uh, deductions? <sighs> Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano. As well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. <sighs> I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. Snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. Hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. What's the matter? Yosuke, he didn't know the announcer. Do I have more options? I mean, being honest, you say that, it's, it's, 
oddly enough, either Adachi or Do- or Dojima. <laughs> That's like really it. Because nobody else like really knows of our connection to, to to Dojima other than Dojima himself, our close friends who have been there inside the TV. Or Adachi. Detective Adachi. Hmm. A member of the police force. That is an interesting approach. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. Wait, really? Did I smart boy this? Am I allowed to victory nut? It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. I get a victory nut! Not. <laughs> and you guys, um... You guys, you know what? You do you. You're doing awesome up here. <laughs> and since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. Huh. Well, if you think of it that way, I guess it's possible. But we're talking about Adachi here, right? We are. Who the hell knows about what Adachi does other than fuck her? Oh my god, he is such a simpleton. That he was trying to cover up things so much, he kept fly letting details about the case fly out, thus baiting us into investigating it further this whole time. He's been planting the fucking seeds this whole goddamn time, motherfucker. I hate him. I mean, really, Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. Yeah, and he never shuts the fuck up. Because he's planting that seed to see who is actually going around saving people. Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi, I'm not sure how to put it, but there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Yeah? Hmm. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak to... It's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. A dachi son? Do we want to like let the Aya and all his kitchen staff hear this right now? By the way. That can't be. I mean, he said he came to escort Miss Yamano and. What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? When Miss Yamano was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. That motherfucker. That absolute cockbag. Holy shit. Ceiling, if you're watching, you're a fucking genius. You kept me off of his case. That's when Adachi-san arrived saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He in fact, if anybody who's been who's be been much. in the Discord chat has been keep me who has been keeping me off this off of his case, fucking genius! You duped you duped me. Guard her. He didn't spend the night there. Hmm. 
I wonder if he knew Ms. Yamato. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. I found out this afternoon, but I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, but... That's the... Th oh, my God. No, that's just the thing, Mama Jolly. Like, I, I like... Re as much as I can relive about this as they're recapping right now, like, they're going back through all this. I'm going back through all this in my head. And I'm going, that motherfucker. He's been hiding under a false guise this whole time as a detective under Dojima's wing as, as an incompetent part of all this. That's a, that's a smart motherfucker. God fucking damn it. It's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. Then you think he had something else on his mind? And that something is what connects those two victims to Adachi-san? Come to think of it, we've been running into that guy a lot in all sorts of places. And every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying, oops, I said too much and clamming up. Was that all to throw us off the trail? It would be no problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox either. Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. Then, is it really a duchy son? I'm gonna go with, we need to confirm this. This is still only a tentative theory. We should work to confirm it as soon as possible. This is Naoto Shirogane. Something has occurred to me about the case, and I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input on it. Huh? The transport? It's right now? Right, I, I see. Thank you. What was that about a transport? Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. We must head there at once. Have you ever decided to eat the eat the booty like groceries, only to find out you in fact were the groceries? That's motherfucker. Hi, right, bitch. We're talking. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Hey, do you know where Dojima-san went? They told me he snuck out of his room again. I assure you, we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put, but he keeps going off on his own. Oh, God. You don't wash your fredgies before you eat them? Gross. Jeez. Nama Tommy finally relocated. I was looking forward to going home. So, he's been relocated. I've been wondering. You seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Didn't you guys think so, too? And we can't leave you around with him, either. Hey, what are you doing here, anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again. Same could be said for you. Adachi, where's Namatami? There's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Dojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. Bullshit. You did what? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. G give me a break, Dojima-san. Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. 
that part's still nagging at me. Is this more of your detective's intuition? He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. And you kids should really get home, too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. What's gotten into you today? It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. Hi, Favre. Come on! I'm always given 110% when it comes to the job. Uh, yeah, you, ever, you, ever, you speak fluent bullshit, I see. You should get back to work, too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. What are you all doing here? We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. The time the announcer went missing? I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw her or anything. That was months and months ago, too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. Warning letter? Goddamn it, Farf, with the winged nut. The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Uh... I don't really remember. See, that's the thing, Adachi. That was only a month ago. I'll give you two months at best. Even with my shitty memory, I can remember what happened two months ago. Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Kanji? How's your right hook coming along? Your accident was right after that. And what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your wounds aren't healing. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? Time for you to take a dirt nap. I'm going back. I need to get to the station and report in. Just one more thing, please. We know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? I have no idea what you're talking about. Because we think it might have been you. What? That's ridiculous. We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in. What did you just say? Put them all in. Not, 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 not. Not, not, not. What's this putting them in business? Do you know something about the method behind their murders? Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. Before, I didn't know why, only that it sounded a wrong note to me. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima-san's accident. At the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. And in response, your words were, Wow, then that settles it. How, I wonder, would that settle anything? At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. You had no reason to say such a thing. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd, that. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? 
I don't know. I said I'm busy. Wait, you son of a bitch! Adachi! Ah! Oh, damn it! Adachi! What the? I swear he ran this way. He's in the TV. Damn it! Where the hell did he go? Did you find him? I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi, and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. He's still here? But we looked! We didn't find him anywhere! That bastard. <clears throat> Dojima-san? For heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? Sorry. I got carried away. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? You're right. Sorry. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Please. Oh, you don't get to square much away with him. Except we're squaring up. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would. But could he have... Yeah, I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? You mean he went in through here? We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? We watch the min... We watch the... Well... Let's, let's go. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. We're not 100% positive he used this TV. And on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Let's go in from Jeunesse, like always. Fair enough. It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. Can I have veggies quick? Ugh. I can veggies. Yeah, wait. Where? Where was? Yeah. Where the fuck was Adachi? Wasn't he like waiting outside Nanako's room? I can't remember that. Apparently, I can't remember that far back. Oh. Teddy? Could ask you the same thing. I see. How mysterious. There are so many things I don't know about. But I did realize something. 
I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. Just a shadow? I figured something out. Thanks, Here, headphones. That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. Horseshit, you can do anything, Teddy. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. And then I was here. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. <laughs> I really am stupid. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. That's not even possible. Unless there's some weird clause of a shadow having a shadow uh, could that, that can have a shadow that I'm not aware of in the Persona series. You're as real as a person as anybody. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. It would have been better if I had never remembered. But I did. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh, yeah. Sensei, one day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Tell her, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her, I'm really sorry. I'm going with this. Huh? Uh, really? Teddy, you did something. Nana Chance. Wow. That's wonderful. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? Is it your dream world, Teddy? Aha. Uh -huh. But I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? Let's go through it together. But I don't know what to look for or how to find it. No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. But I do understand one thing now. 
I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. Teddy's a lot like a confused teenager. That's really all he is. He's hormonal. Doesn't say the right words at all. He doesn't know where he fits in with the world. And he can't figure anything out. Unless he has someone else there to help him with that. He may have started out as a shadow, but... I think he's a shadow that sought out a real life and per even with that persevere to become a real person seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Goodbye, Sensei. You turn your fucking ass around. You come back with me. seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. The water strength has moved a single stone that had stopped, returning it once again into the flow. Hmm, very interesting. Well, now, it's about time we departed once again. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Now, it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. We'll be waiting for your next visit. I want Teddy back. How did it go? Did you find Teddy? No, and no one's seen him either. Oh, that annoying little furball! Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. Malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. I think we'd better hurry. Give me a sec to try finding a dachi. All right, let's see how this. Mo let's see if they actually put in the effort, put it in a different model. They did. Does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? Our glasses work on the fog on the other side. 
It can't be normal. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. I wonder what's going to happen. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then... maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. Man, where is that bear anyway? Well... I can say for sure he's not here. And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted! Why aren't you here when we need you most? This place... Where the fuck did you come from? Oh, I see. I came back. But it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. Nana-chan... I'm so sorry. Teddy? It is you, Teddy. I heard... your voice. You said... hang in there. I heard... my big bro... and... everyone else, too. Nana-chan! Oh, hold on! I'll get the doctor! It seems she's asleep again. Um, Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. My voice. And theirs, too. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best. But it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being... And the way I can change is unknown, too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now, too. I... I'm just a shadow. But Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? <laughs> Disgusting. That's Kamui. Right. I need to get back to the others. Hang in there, Nana-chan. I'll be back soon. It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Fucking hell. Alright. That made putting up with Teddy entirely it's probably getting rude for me in the end but I want the bear to come back he has to at this point Risa John if only Teddy was with us didn't he say his nose is practically useless now and could he even help us find that bastard <laughs> nope he'd be no help at all but he was always there to support me whenever that bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. I'm alright. I just got 
a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. I agree. If Rise-san became fatigued, even if we found a dachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Also, oh, I just now noticed this. Hold on. I'm sliveling you. Don't be alarmed. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end. I know he's in there too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless. Teddy? You little... Where the hell were you? Uh, I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! You're so late! Who do you think you are? <laughs> um... Rise-chan? Are you faking? you all again you know how much trouble you caused you dumb bear where the hell were you I'm sorry I figured out a lot of things stuff about me and that world I wanted to tell you all You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? Yup. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait. You say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... It's no big deal. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. God damn it, Yosuke. And about you being a shadow? We pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. Huh? Ooh, what are you saying? Here I am pouring my heart out to you and you say you thought I was something like that anyways? No normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow. So what's the problem with being a shadow? It's true that you may have been born that way. But you now possess the power of persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Doesn't it follow then that you must have developed an ego? <laughs> That's an understatement. Whether the ego masters its shadow or the shadow awakens to its ego, the only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Teddy's practically human then. I've been fucking saying that. Uh, I'm the same as humans? You keep trying to figure out who you are. Just like all of us here. You can't do much on your own. You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? <laughs> Going bears arc. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad I met you guys. The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with, too, right? You fit right in, man. I beg your pardon. Who are you calling a misfit? You, Naoto. Let's hide our actual let's hide our sexual identity because we can't find a way to make it as a woman. Isn't that just you, Senpai? Hey, 
That's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. Gee, stop crying, will ya? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer in Senpai. It was Adachi. Huh? Adachi? That total goofball? Whoa! I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. <laughs> yeah, what Kanji said. Kanji being the fluffy one, Risei just being like, yeah, yeah what, what, what they said. Grr. Uh, okay. Thanks, guys. Alright, now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him too. Leave it to Fuzzy. I almost want to no I gotta get I want to keep going I I don't want to stop quite yet oh damn wow no even not even school things happen anymore Chan couldn't find him. I really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. Hmm. I do smell a dachi baby in here, but the fog is completely covering up his scent. Teddy, you can't do it either? Have you tried working together? When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what. This is my time to shine. <laughs> oh, I'm getting something. <laughs> Teddy? Hey, quit wandering around. You better not flake out on us again. Uh, huh. Huh? I sense it from this away. Is it Itachi? Um, how do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. When did you learn how to fish? I don't get it. Very suspicious. This definitely smells, but that's weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. When we first... where was that? Oh, you mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Yep, there's someone there! Teddy, you really are amazing! It was just dumb luck. <laughs> it's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. All right. Do you see that face right there? That's a pure boy. That's why it kind of smelled over there. Oh, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom and... Huh? You're saying he peed his pants there? Oh... I gotta pee! Shit, quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. Uh, well, it happened 
so long ago, my memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? Okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. <laughs> uh, go with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. So I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. Another step, and another step, and another step, and another one, and another one. You damn bitch. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Who's there? Oh... It's you guys. You're very persistent. And you're a bitch. You're getting on my nerves, kid. Answer the question. Did you or did you not throw Ms. Yamano into the TV? <laughs> it was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something. And then she started getting hysterical on me. Who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Okay, this is Class A Creepy. Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help. <sighs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. What are you going to do? No! Ah! She, she fell in. <laughs> wow! So people can go completely inside. Good thing for me, no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the Force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. Then you were responsible for Saki-senpai's death! Saki? Oh yeah, her name was Saki Konishi, or something like that. At first I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. What's this about, anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. No! God, these high school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. 
I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the boonies. But I guess I got the sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know? Lighter. You son of a bitch! Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. Fuck you. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. The council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> so what if I knew? Who else? No one. You already know it was Namatame who did the rest. He called the police in the middle of the night just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know? Huh, that's the pattern to the two deaths so far? And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program, and you think she'll die too, is that right? Namatame san, do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But, but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. <laughs> it does sound interesting, though. B but Oh, I have an idea. If you really want to save her that much, why not do it yourself? Like, you could shelter her somewhere, someplace where no one could find her. Where no one could find her? Save her yourself. You can do it. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. <sighs> Isn't that amazing? Of all the people who could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! All I did was give him a little push. And he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta be shitting me! Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? <laughs> reasons? None, really. So what's the case? So is this just a story loophole with protagonist Chie and Yosuke? I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason? People just for the fun of it? Come on. All I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. Huh, what a coincidence. I didn't mean to come in here. And I happened to murder somebody. Looks like we've changed roles today. And Namatame did most of it. I had nothing to do with any of you. You're just dodging the blame. Yeah? Then how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs? 
police are that stupid? You are. What a jerkwad! I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. I'm more or less playing off as a joke, Ruin, is that he didn't, he put people in here, he didn't kill people. He put people in here, didn't kill them himself. I didn't put, I didn't put anybody inside the TV, but I'm sure about to kill somebody. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun too. Then... You mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? Excuse me for one second. Sorry, I thought I felt something hard on the inside of my shirt and I wanted to make sure it wasn't a uh, another Asian beetle. And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with the TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him. Even if he survived. Of course, I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> Wait, the police station? Yeah. He turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank. So they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all, it was me. Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate to pin it on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatame would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. <sighs> Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki-senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference. No sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? This isn't his real body. The real Adachi is somewhere else. But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. 
<laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. The Shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now! What a chump! Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Get back here, you! That stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? I think he means this world will engulf the human world. The people in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. You mean everyone's gonna turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! Why? We went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? Yeah. It's about time we finish this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. There's a path we can take now. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Wait. I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year, but now's not the time to freak out. Let's get prepared. Let's get over prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid smug face. All right, later, Blaze can do. I'm probably gonna wrap up in just a little bit here. As soon as the story stops, and I get a chance to save. Perfect. All right. So that's where I'm going to end this off for tonight. <sighs> Teddy's had a turnaround point. And Adachi's an asshole. I have a my I have yet again another minor theory that Adachi yeah, the full story's coming to coming in on the. I mean, Nera, it's it's the climax. Everything's happening. That's why I'm going so freaking silent. Um, but anyway, my my weird theory is that is that Adachi either came across this power, or Adachi uh, or either came across this power, or is a shadow himself because he somehow had an interaction with the other side a while ago. And this kind of thing has been building over a couple of years now. That's my weird theory, at least. So, 
I want to do I want to do two things here. Yeah, I only got like rank five. Um, anyway, so a couple things I want to sla uh, slap down on the table here tonight before I end off is, well, first of all, any questions you guys have, you can start asking them now while I go through this next part and you can add on anything else. Anybody who's been paying attention to Twitter, the YouTube page, anything else has probably seen that I'm planning on doing a 24 hour stream starting Saturday at noon central time. So 10 o'clock on the, on the West coast, one o'clock on the, on the East coast. If you're in, if you're mountain time, do math. No, you are, you are a, no, Ruin, you are not a potato. You are a lovely individual that happens to have an issue with potatoes being associated with them. Well, thank you. But yeah, Nera as Nera said there that this is the this is kind of the reason why I'm doing going to be doing this this stream is it is my 10 year anniversary. Mama Jelly, we both know the answer to that question. Loki, everyone's a perv. Just how well you hide it. So, as I said, I'm going to be probably playing a mix of games Saturday through Sunday. That's why I said hiding, how well we are at hiding it. Some people just full on break and say, yeah, I'm a perv. Some people are like, okay, well, let's keep that on the down low. Don't want people questioning my sanity or anything. So, there are many games. I have played through many games in my time on YouTube. Many, many, many games. I might be revisiting some old games. I might be playing multiplayer games. And I might play games, some games I haven't touched yet. This game and any future stream games are off the table. So, Persona 4 will not be, will, will not be being streamed on Saturday. I might return for Fire Emblem Warriors, just kind of like a ha ha yee. I did Fire Emblem Warriors streams, lol. Um. So I guess this is what I ask you for anybody who has followed me up to a point, up to any point. Is there any specific game that I have played? Well, yeah, because, well, oddly enough, last month was my first month of being affiliated on Twitch. So it kind of also acts as an odd celebration of my Twitch affiliation, too, weirdly enough. Undiva. So is there any games I played on YouTube or any games that in, in or any games in specific that you've seen me play and are like, OK, I want to see you play more of that. I might just resort to my backloggery and might spend most of the day tomorrow updating my backloggery because oof I haven't touched that thing in a while and I feel like at a times I'll probably be like juggling you know I'll be juggling things like you know play like you know playing multiplayer games playing games I know like Sonic Unleashed and maybe Golden Sun you know things of that sort of juggling that around but I'll know that for sure when I get there it's gonna be kind of a grab bag stream until I sit down and organize everything If you don't have anything now, that's fine. Uh, I've seen, okay, I've seen Lucky play Long Live the Queen. Not a huge, that's not my kind of game. It's, to me, it's kind of dumb. I'll be honest. Also, because I'm starting to ask these questions now, 